Welcome back to the SKU Savvy YouTube channel. Today we're going to go through some bulk tools and actions that can help you get the most out of your SKU Savvy account. So whether you're a new user or someone who has been in here for quite a while, these tools are going to help you get more done faster. So the first one that we're going to go through is the ability to align your shipping methods that have come over from Shopify to the carrier services that you have available. Now, this isn't necessarily a bulk tool, but it is certainly going to help fulfill orders faster. What you're going to do is you can see here that from our Shopify connection, we have already pulled over the rates that you're offering your customers on Shopify. And after you have added carriers, you'll see that those carrier services are available over on the right column. And so what you want to do is to align the rate name with the carrier service from your available carriers. Now, this is going to automatically populate during the fulfillment to make the suggestion of this carrier service aligning with the shipping method that your customer has selected during checkout. Take some of the guesswork out of the fulfillment process. The next one that we're going to go through is the ability to print barcodes in bulk. Now, I should point out that several of these bulk actions are going to require some kind of label. So I've already gone ahead and set up an item label here. Once we have that item label, you can come over into your product catalog and just select the three dot menu. And from here, we're going to print all barcodes. Now, you can also use filters here. So if, for instance, I was to filter down to just my hat, for instance, we could print out any product that matches our filter criteria here. So we'll go ahead and print out. Now, from here, the chunk size, SKU Savvy is limited in the number of items that I can print at one time. So this is going to be the first 250 items that match our filter criteria. Once we select our label format, that will populate here to give us a sample. And we can go ahead and print out all of these items. The next one on the list is from this same menu going into bulk edit items. So again, this is going to apply to just the filter criteria that we have set. Here we can assign the length, width, and height measurements of all of the products that match our filter criteria as well as the weight here. And if we click on update, that is going to update all of the products that that applies to. Now there is another method that you can use to adjust variants of one single product. So for instance, if we were to go to this product here and we're to look at our variants, we can bulk edit just the variants for this specific product. The next bulk editing feature that we're going to go through here is the ability to add vendor items in bulk. So you may have noticed that on the import from Shopify, you have, if you had vendors assigned to your products, those would already come down into SKU Savvy and you would have those assigned to this vendor. If you have new products that have not yet been assigned to the vendor, but the vendor is still within SKU Savvy, you can do this in a couple of ways. Uh, they both actually start from the purchase order creation. So if we go into create a new order, I'm gonna select our Savvy Warehouse. Now at this point we have the vendor selected, you could fill out a normal purchase order, but we're going to uncheck this vendor items box here. And this is now going to show every item that we have in our catalog. And so if we order an item that has not been assigned to the vendor, this is going to automatically make that association for you going forward in the future. Now you can also make unit cost adjustments after the product has been added down at the bottom where your totals are, and you can choose to update the unit costs throughout the system. That should make it a lot easier to assign new items to a vendor. Now, another method we could use here is just simply importing a purchase order with the SKU quantity and any other kind of details that you might need, vendor SKU, uh, weight of the items. Um, and so from that import, SKU Savvy again will make the association of a product. Now you should already plan to have that product in your catalog before actually making the association. So that's going to give us the vendor product associations here. The next one that we're going to go through is by going into our warehouse and we're going to bulk generate some bins. So if we go over to the layout for a particular warehouse and we click on edit, 
I'm going to just simply draw our rack here. This is just going to be a big block of new bins. We have our rack, and I'm going to select this bulk actions tool. And so what we can do from here is to click on generate bins. And from here, I'm going to indicate the number of rows and the number of columns. And so you can see that Skusavi is adding bins for us as we have selected the number of rows and columns here. You can also replace the existing bins, or if we were to have multiple levels associated with this single shelf here. So let's just call this A. And let's say we've got four levels on this rack. Now, if we jump back into here, we can indicate that we want to set these up for all of our levels. And if we click add 80 bins to one shelf, boom, SKU Savvy is going to have those bins automatically generated. And at which point we could go back into the bin information itself, renaming any of the bins that we want to on here or just leaving them as such. The next method or bulk feature within the layout that I want to draw attention to is the ability to copy bins from one level to another. So if we go ahead and we now add another shelf and we generate some bins for this shelf. Place our existing bins. Boom, we're going to, whoops, I think we had selected the wrong shelf. Okay, we're going to add the bins to our level one here. Now we've got this level, let's say we're happy with that, but we wanna copy that up to another level. We're gonna come in here, name this, and we're going to add some new levels here. Let's update that. And from here, we can come down to our bulk tools, go to copy bins to another level. And from here, we're indicating that we're gonna copy the bins from level one up to our other levels here. And we're just going to copy that. And then let's go back to the shelf and just generate some bin names. So if we generate bin names, that's going to go through and adjust the bins on all of the levels here to match which level and position those bins are. Again, you could rename those down here and then tab through to rename them. Hopefully that makes building your warehouse layout much easier. Um, now what we can do from here, once we have all of our bins, of course, we could print all of those bin labels in bulk. So if we come over to our bin list and go to print labels, this will generate a label for all of the bins and print it out. Now you could also come into your shelves, select a single shelf and just print the bins associated with this shelf here. Uh, there again, we're using in this case, a previously made bin label, but you also do have some defaults there. Um, but a lot of customization over the way that your bin barcodes uh, and labels could look. The next one that we're going to go through is the ability to bulk pick orders or order batching. So from your orders, let's go over into our savvy warehouse here. We're going to go into our orders. Now at the bottom, we've got a bunch of unbatched shipments. And so from here, what we could do is to batch these shipments together. And of course, we could use a few different things here. Number one, we could use pick to tote. We could set an item limit and a shipment limit. So let's say we want to cap our batches at 10 shipments per batch. We could also go down through our order tags and use some tags to distinguish which orders we actually want to include within this single batch. That's going to go through all of our open orders and create batches that match the criteria that we have set here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll assign this one to our new customer. Now there's only four orders within here, so it's going to meet this limit and we'll batch that up. And now you can see that SKU Savvy has created a batch of orders that we can go through to pick, pack, and ship. On that note, if we click into this batch, the next bulk feature that you can use is to bulk print out. So if we go over to custom labels, we can now print all of the labels associated with this single batch here. Now there's only four orders here, but we do have the ability to print out all of the labels, which again is going to use a template from your label templates here. That's going to be the shipment label. The next bulk feature that we're going to go through is the ability to add inventory to bins in bulk. So what you're going to do, and this is going to make sense for 
those of you who have just connected to Shopify and now have a bunch of unallocated inventory. As you can see here, if I sort my bin list, I have a bunch of items that are not assigned to a bin location. So what I'm gonna do to bulk allocate these is go over to the bulk allocation tool. Now you will have to be in the flattened list view. So here you can see that this is the grouped view, which has all of the variants of a specific product grouped up. I'm gonna to go to the flattened view and bulk allocate inventory. Here again, we can set certain filters that we want to have. So if I just filter down to new, we can see that there's three products here. Now, all of these products I could check off and just simply scan to the bin at this point. Uh, or in this case, I can select a bin. Now, this is indicating that we are going to allocate these three quantities of 10 on these new products over to our bin 15. You can use barcode scanning to scan both the bin as well as just scanning items that are in this list and it will automatically select those for allocation if you are using a camera scanner you'll just simply click this button to use the camera if you're using a hardware scanner you just start scanning so you would walk up scan the bin and then scan any kind of items that have not been allocated that are in that bin to automatically mark them and allocate the last bulk feature that I want to go through very quick is the ability to move all of your inventory from a single bin over to another bin. So here I have navigated into a bin. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of inventory in this bin. What I'm going to do is just click on the transfer button at the top. And here SKU Savvy will let us select which items we want to transfer. Then we would just select this transfer all and either scan or select our bin location and put that inventory into the bin. Hopefully that makes things a lot easier to get up and running. We'll see you on the next video. And as always, if you haven't gotten your SKU Savvy account, make sure to get a free one, app.skusavvy.com forward slash register. We'll see you next time.